I was working at the University of Waterloo. Um, I was in the engineering department working for their business school. So I was pretty much helping everybody else to kind of live out their dreams. I started to feel like that person who was standing, you know, with their hands out here, like helping everybody over the fence. I was sitting there giving advice and saying, you know, just go for it, just take a chance. And somebody asked me, you know, if you had to choose how to spend your days, how would you do it? And then I realized, oh, I would be dancing as much as I could. I came from Poland. I uh, lived in Poland during the very difficult time, and I was always very free spirit. So I knew that I can find myself in that uh, political system. So I decided to leave country. When I came, I uh, started to work as a supply teacher, but it was quite difficult for me, not knowing quite the system and being a supply teacher was very difficult. And so I decided having passion for fashion and uh, for people, uh, for women, I thought to myself that I wanted to open my own business. I traveled to Europe to uh, handpick clothing. A lot of items which I carry, you cannot find anywhere in Canada. This is what I love and never feels as work. Okay, let's do it. We won beginner bachata. We'll start our warm up on our own. We'll do our footwork and then we'll break into partners. And our classes were sold out um, three weeks before we even opened. Go. Bye. I remember my first Bye. class in here and it was so awesome just to see the first person walk through the door and I couldn't believe it. Um, and then four months later, we were all locked down again. And then it ended up being that the first 12 months that the business was open, it was closed for six. It was just, um, I don't even have a word for it, devastating maybe. It was, it was really, really, really scary. I had just left this like full-time job um, a career and uh, had just started to pick things up and then I thought there's no way we'll make it. When a uh, pandemic started, I was in Europe, so I had that insight uh, telling me that I need to bring clothes with me to Canada because of everything was closed, I couldn't come to Canada. You know, for seven days I was stuck in Europe, but eventually I came and I brought two suitcases of clothes and I had to be in quarantine at home for two weeks. So I decided to put out there some little fashion shows for women where I would post that on uh, Instagram. and. Uh, I had amazing response. Women were messaging, calling me, saying how thankful they were for my little entertainment. It was amazing. And they need to follow and tag three friends and it goes live today. When I look at back on my life and my story, I I always believed in myself. Can we enlarge that somehow? Yeah, sure. It looks great. I when love I that bought this building, this house. I was a single mom, very young, and most of people uh, told me, friends included, and family, that I wouldn't last even a bit, but I did. Who's here for salsa? Yeah, let's go, let's do it. One, two, three, four, five. I called it the underdog um, because of when I was starting out and hearing all these comments about, you know, you don't have the training or it's too hard to make a dance studio work and you're trying in a pandemic. Um, and sometimes I look at it and I think, well, I did it anyway, <laughs> you know? There were challenges, there were, but because I believed and I trusted myself that I would succeed, everything worked out perfect. Whatever I do, I don't question it. I know that it's going to work out. Day to day, I do still stress or I do still worry, but then there are some moments where you kind of do get to sit back and realize like how far it's come and how much we've been through. When I have, you know, 20 students walk through the door for a class and I know all of them by name and I can see the growth, you know, they couldn't even move their shoulders when they started here and now they're dancing salsa and um, yeah, it's like, it's unreal. I can't believe it. <laughs>